Father Jerry, we had a mayor, uh, Edgar and Tabelia, uh, Councillor uh, Jerry Guardo, uh, our city treasurer, uh, Jerry Castillo, our uh, members of the team here, I'd like to mention the non-CLI members, uh, our, our good friend architect Maxwell Spina, our contractor uh, uh, D, Peter D, also a very good friend and a good dancer, and uh, friends from uh, the media, of course, who are here, no? and uh, the members of our CLI team, I, I see Grant Chang also, our CFO, uh, Joe Capistrano, our Head of Engineering, Rose Yulo, Aninia, our, our, uh, our sales team headed by Rose Yulo, and uh, yes, our business dev people who are also here. So it's really a full team, uh, Mayor, that uh, brought this together. And you were asking me if I will uh, talk about uh, where this all came from, no? Well, that's a very tough job to do. It all starts with my wife eh, all the time, no? my Rose here. You know, because we were able to uh, have the opportunity to acquire this property. There were actually many of us who were going for it. But we had very much confidence about the, the project. No, the garden series feature that we have. It has already run five, completed two, and even the, the next three uh, sold out very well. So we, we need to have a follow through after the Midori and the Mivesa. So immediately uh, we saw this opportunity and acquired this property. Uh, and our confidence was also boosted by the fact that uh, the kind of development will really add more to the greenery landscape of the community because uh, being part of the garden series, I think to a large extent the open spaces here, uh, which would include of course the, uh, the, the clubhouse and the pool area, the non-living areas and the roadway will, will constitute at least 40% uh, of the area, no? So that, that's a lot of leeway. And I think there are provisions for parking as well. We have to address that very carefully as, as what we are also very concerned about, about the traffic and how we could contribute to the easement of that issue. So, and then forming the team was uh, another uh, part that came easy because we wanted really a full Sequano team. We got Maxwell, no, I've known him for a long time, uh, and I guess this was the right time for us to engage each other. And, and Peter D, who did very well in our 6th and 7th building of uh, Ivesa, and now he's here to help us. And there are more projects awaiting uh, uh, Mr. D for us. And I'm just so happy to mention that with uh, Mayor Edgar, we did give our commitment that the socialized housing component of all Cebu projects will be here in Cebu. And that's definitely gonna happen. And uh, we identified that five-story building. It's the third of the three buildings. I think the first two were funded directly by, by them, if I'm not mistaken, by the city government. And we were more than willing to put in our share of uh, the third building. No, it's a five-story building in San Miguel, Lorega, and we have committed uh, a funding support of something like 115 million pesos. Uh, and that's really for uh, the initiation and uh, the effort of the mayor and his team, and we are going to put that into fruition. Uh, definitely, uh, we would like to help out mayor, as I have already expressed this to you, uh, in terms of some design features that could help enhance that project. No? Franco uh, has mentioned and intimated to me that he would like to be directly involved with this project. So, in Kofran, we will have to be there actively, make sure we put more of the pluses 
no, and uh, extra sauce that we make sure that this will become a model development. No? That many of our brother Cebuanos will be able to enjoy. No? I, I have also heard that there are still a lot of uh, uh, properties owned by the city or even those that are owned by the government in general, which we could still develop and hopefully house many of our brother Cebuanos enjoy and fulfill their dreams of having a roof on top of their head. So I guess uh, this is a very successful uh, project as part of the Garden Series and uh, we we do pray and uh, of course wish that the, the blessings of the Almighty will always be there bestowed upon us to give us the guiding light to pursue this project in the best way possible that we are able to deliver our commitments, not just to the city of Cebu, but also to our buyers, and that uh, they will be able to enjoy this. This will be uh, one of those commitments of Cebu Land Masters that will make things even better for the community. We're not here to just add and fill up the spaces, but we're here to contribute to the betterment of the community. And this is another example of how our dedication and our commitment will always fall into its right places. So thank you very much. Thank you very much once again for that very inspiring message, uh, Sir Joe. And so for us to officially get into the groundbreaking ceremony.